Hi, I'm Lana Vorza. I am a wife, a mother to three boys, a coffee lover, an author, a prophetic voice to the nations, and a speaker. It began for me in my relationship with God with asking Him two questions. What is on your heart today, Lord, and what are you dreaming about? That became the place of the greatest encounters for me, over coffee with Jesus. Hi everybody, welcome back to Coffee with Jesus episode number four. It's wonderful to have you joining me again. I hope you have your cup of coffee or tea or drink of preferred choice ready with you right now as we dive into this episode together. So, cheers, here we go. (laughs) This episode I've titled, You Are About to See the Bigger Picture. And this episode today is really a prophetic word for you that I believe the Lord has placed on my heart to release over your life. As I was sitting with the Lord and asking him what he wanted me to share today, as I sat, I had a vision. And in this vision, I saw eagles and the Lord was lifting eagles high above the storm. He was lifting eagles high above the clouds. And when I asked Jesus, God, what are you saying? Lord, what are you releasing right now? He said to me, Lana, he said, prophesy over my people today that they are about to see the bigger picture. So I want to release that over you. I want to prophesy to you today that God is lifting you high above the storms, that God is lifting you high above the clouds and the confusion and the things that would try and attempt to hinder your vision. See, we've all been in times like that, haven't we? Where things are going on around us in our life or we're clouded by confusion. You might have a decision to make or you may be looking at your year thinking, God, like, what am I doing this year? Or Lord, I need your direction. Or God, this circumstance in my life right now is so overwhelming and it's so stressful and I'm finding it hard to see what's going on. Or you may actually be in a place where you're in the middle of something that you completely don't understand. God, I don't get it. What is happening right now? Wherever you're at today, I believe that heaven is thundering over you. You are about to see the bigger picture. God is about to release significant revelation in your life. And that revelation is what he is doing in your life, what his plans are, what his purpose is, and and seeing it from his perspective. You will have heard me share a lot about the power of perspective. That as we see things from God's point of view, we see things through heaven's eyes, we see things through the eyes of God, that as we live as people that ask continually, like in the book of James, for wisdom, that we will be people that look not at our normal circumstances of earth and the things that surround, but that we are people that live with hope and the bigger picture of what God is doing. And this word, I believe, is for you today. That God is releasing revelation in your life. He's giving you answers to the bigger picture. God is releasing significant revelation to you today and from today of the bigger picture of the master weaver and the beautiful painting that he's painting in and through your life. I believe that as you watch this episode today, wherever you are in the earth, whatever you're walking through, that there is an impartation of revelation and insight that God is going to release to you, that he's going to release to you that place of Jeremiah 33.3, that as you ask, God, what is the bigger picture? God, what are you doing right now? That he's actually going to release revelation to you that's going to bring freedom to you. See, I see so many right now you're watching that you've been blinded by circumstances. You've been blinded by distraction and question marks have surrounded your head and your heart of God. I don't know what's going on and I don't understand why. But the Lord is about to release upon you clarity unlike anything you've ever experienced before. That you are today in a season where God is going to unlock in your life the wisdom of heaven. 
that as you and I position ourselves in the place of Jeremiah 33, 3, that promised place, that place of invitation from God that says, ask of me and I will tell you great and unsearchable things that you do not yet know. Friend, there is an invitation being released to you right now today from Jesus. And he's saying, will you come and will you ask me? Will you ask me to show you the things that you do not yet know? Will you ask me to reveal my heart to you? Will you ask me to reveal the answer to you? Will you ask me to reveal to you the things that you need to know in order to walk the pathways that I have for you? There is such a glorious invitation upon you right now, friend, to step into revelation and wisdom unlike anything you've ever experienced before. The heralding of heaven is being released over your life right now. It's like I can see God leaning in close to you. Ask me. Ask me because I'm about to show you the bigger picture. I'm about to show you what I've been doing behind the scenes when you haven't even known what is going on. I'm about to reveal to you in such a great and mighty way the plans and purposes that I have for you and my redemption and my restoration in your life. Friend, if you hear nothing else in this episode, I want you to hear this that there is an unlocking being released in your life right now. That as you sit in that place of Jeremiah 33, 3, that you are about to get answers to long awaited questions. You are about to receive answers to questions that you've been asking God for a long time. The Lord's about to answer things that have been going on inside of your heart that you didn't even know were there. The Lord showed me that through disappointment and weariness and battle, that there have been parts of hearts that have been locked away, that many have lost their voice, that many don't even know what it is that they're dreaming about anymore, that there's been such an emotional shutdown in hearts because of things of the past. But the Lord is heralding today that the past is no longer going to scream at you, but the future is beckoning you the future of his plans and his purposes and the vision of heaven is being released upon your life. See, the Lord has already placed within you the answer. He's already, he's already placed within you the dream. He's already placed within you the revelation. And now is the time for that confusion to blow away. Now is the time for those voices that have spoken over your life for so long and told you it has to look this way. It can't look that way. You can't do this. You can't go there. All of those voices that have been squashing you down, those voices that have kept you from the place of soaring above the clouds and above the storm, God is about to release in your life such significant revelation and wisdom and insight that those voices are going to be silenced once and for all. See, friend, in the season of change, it can be turbulent. In the season of change, you can feel like you're all over the place. God, I don't know which way's up right now. God, I don't even know what it is you're saying, let alone which direction you want me to move in. But see, friend, God has heard your prayers and he's heard your cries and he's already ministering to your heart and he's preparing you to hear the answer and the revelation that you've been waiting for. The Lord is about to unlock in you desires that he's placed within your heart that voices have told you are not from God. He is about to unlock desires in your life, in your heart, that even your own voice has told you that can't be God. I prophesy over you today the blooming new era of desires fulfilled. I'm seeing right now that many have been in a place where you've locked away that that place of desire in your heart because it's just been told to you so many times through your own belief system that doesn't line up with the word of God and voices outside of you. That can't be God. 
But friend, I'm here today to prophesy over you the chains around those desires are breaking and you are about to see the bigger picture. You're about to see that the very desires that that have, have had so much battle come against them are actually the very desires that God has been breathing on in your life for so long. But in the, in the transition, in the change, in the place of freedom and breaking through into this new promised land of desires fulfilled, stepping into that place of the bigger picture being revealed. It can be turbulent, but don't be afraid of the turbulence because God is actually sifting through all of the things in your heart and in your mind and in your circumstances and things around you that have clouded the bigger picture. You're stepping into the bigger picture of God. I love Psalm 37 verse 4. It says, make God the utmost delight and pleasure of your life and he will provide for you what you desire the most. That's out of the Passion Translation. And that scripture was booming, thundering in my spirit as I asked the Lord what he wanted me to share with you today. See, many of you watching, you've been in that place where God is the utmost delight of your heart where you have given the Lord your all, you've surrendered your life. You live not for your own life. Your life has been given to him and to glorify him and the kingdom of God to be extended through your life. But the clouds of confusion, the circumstances of life, they've all come and brought a haze and a a fogginess over you. But no more, friend. No more. The Lord is about to reveal to you the bigger picture. I wrote down here Isaiah 40, 31. I know it's a scripture that we all know well. But this scripture, I believe that the Lord is speaking over you right now. Isaiah 40, 31. Those who wait upon the Lord will renew their strength. They will rise on wings of eagles. They will run and not be weary. They will walk and not faint. There have been so many situations and circumstances in your life that have brought you to a place of weariness. You may be watching this right now and you feel like your strength has been sucked from you. Well, I want to prophesy over you today that in the place of surrender, in the place of rest with the Lord, in the place of waiting upon him, in the place of Jeremiah 33.3, that place of positioning right now, that Jesus is breathing resurrection life over desires that you thought were dead, that God is about to release you into things that you haven't even dreamed of, that you really are about to receive such significant revelation for your future that you have no concept of it because he's so good and he's so much bigger than you could ever imagine. He's so much bigger than you think. The bigger picture is being unveiled. Does it mean that you'll understand absolutely everything? No. Jesus is breathing resurrection life over those desires in your heart that you thought were dead. He's breathing life over those desires that you didn't even think were from him. Like sandbags that hold down a hot air balloon. God is cutting off those sandbags and he is decreeing over you today, lift off up, up and away into promises fulfilled, into the higher place of vision and insight, like an eagle soars up high and has a bird's eye view, like when you're in a, a hot air balloon and you go up high, you can see more than you've ever seen before. Friend, God is bringing you into the place of seeing more than you've ever seen before. I hear his heart heralding over you. My child, you are about to see more than you've ever seen before. 
So right now, in the name of Jesus, I break all assignments of confusion over your life. I break all of the haze, all of the fog, all of the things that the enemy has used to try and keep you from promises and desires fulfilled. I lift off the cloak of condemnation off of you right now in the name of Jesus through the declaration of scripture that there is no condemnation for those in Christ Jesus. I lift off right now in the name of Jesus the lies that have so entangled your 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 mind and your heart to stop you from dreaming with God. And I I just speak right now that the Holy Spirit is ministering to your heart. And as those, those lies are breaking, how are they breaking? They're breaking as he speaks his truth to you right now. Friend, I am so excited for you. I am so excited about what God is about to reveal to you. You're about to see the bigger picture. And the land that he's going to have you look at, the vision that he's going to place before you, they're going to have desires in them that you knew were always in your heart, but you didn't think they were God. And suddenly he's going to say, look, I actually gave those to you. He's releasing permission to you to dream in those desires. See, friend, the reason the battle has been so hard against those desires in your life, the reason the enemy has come so hard against those desires to try and cause you to believe they're not from God because they're the very desires where the the most fruit and anointing and flow of the Holy Spirit is going to be released through your life. So today I'm here with my coffee to prophesy over you that God is, is about to break the chains around those desires and you're about to soar to a new height of vision. You're about to soar to a new height of revelation and and just I'm seeing this dreaming with God over those desires in your heart and they're going to be bigger than you've imagined. Not only are those desires about to be fulfilled in your life, but you are about to be left in a place of absolute awe and wonder that the desires in your heart were placed there by God, but the plans that he actually has for those desires are a lot bigger than you could imagine. So I want to leave you with a challenge this week. I want you to grab a cup of coffee with Jesus and I want you to sit with him and I want you to ask him this week, God, what are the desires that you've placed in my heart that you are releasing the bigger picture of revelation upon? God, here are the circumstances in my life right now that I actually don't know what's happening. And I invite you, Lord, as I sit in the place of Jeremiah 33, 3, to come and to show me great and unsearchable things that I do not yet know. Lord, I invite you to come as I sit in the place and I ask you, I ask you, God, to give me your wisdom. God, lift me high above the clouds that I may see the bigger picture. So friend, I want to pray for you right now. I want to pray and release an impartation over you to see the bigger picture. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for my friend that's watching right now. And Lord, I pray that you would give them greater revelation wisdom and insight, the heavenly perspective, the bird's eye view of heaven, of what you are doing right now. Lord, I pray for my friend that is watching. Lord, I pray that you would unlock those desires in their hearts. Lord, I thank you that even today as they watch this episode, Lord, that your Holy Spirit is moving within their hearts and you're already igniting and activating the bigger picture. Lord, I pray right now that you would clear the confusion. Lord, that you would lift them high to that place of peace, that you would lift them high Lord, that you would lift them higher into that place of peace. Lord, that you would lift them higher into that place of joy. Lord, that you would lift them higher into that place of strength. Lord, that the joy of the Lord, your joy, God, is their strength, the confident expectation of who you are, Lord God, and what you're going to do. Father, I thank you for a life-changing encounter with you where you will release 
the revelation of the bigger picture that is going to set them on fire again. So I bless you today, Lord. I praise you. I thank you for my friends that are watching. And I speak blessing over my friends, Lord God. I speak deeper encounters with you over them, Jesus. And I pray today, Lord God, for awe, inspiring, astounding revelation of your heart, Lord God, for the bigger picture. In Jesus' name, amen. Friend, go into your week with an expectation to see the bigger picture. Grab your coffee with Jesus and sit with him and ask him, God, what's the bigger picture? Because there's an invitation upon you right now to be taken into a place you've never been into before and to receive wisdom and revelation from heaven that is going to unlock desires in your heart, dreams fulfilled, and really is going to set you on fire. So I bless you today, friends, and I look forward to seeing you next week for Coffee with Jesus. Bye. Hi there, I'm Kevin Vorser and I work with Lana in this ministry. I'd like to invite you to come and check out our website, lanavorza.com. There you can find Lana's latest prophetic words, even an archive of her past words. On our media page, you'll find a collection of Lana Streamed Media. And if you check out our itinerary page, you can see if we're coming to speak anywhere near you. If we are, we'd love to see you there. If this video blessed you or encouraged you, we welcome you to leave a thumbs up. And if you'd like to hear more, click subscribe and the little bell button next to it so you get notification next time we post. Be blessed. Bye.